What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the DC Comics Multiverse Arrow TV series, The Arrow. Now here we have The Arrow in the box. He is part of the Justice Buster Collect and Connect piece. You can see he has one of the Justice Buster's arms. And then we have The Arrow in the packaging along with his bow and arrow. I'm a little iffy on this figure. I'll and I'll get more into that when we actually get the figure out of the packaging, but there are a few things that I really don't like about this figure right off the bat, but like I said, we'll get more into that when we actually have him out of the packaging. On this side, we have a nice image of Stephen Amell as Oliver Queen. This is from the Arrow TV series, The Arrow. Real name, Oliver Queen, base of operations, Starling City. Special abilities, excellent archery and hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. On the back we have another image of the Justice Buster armor when it's complete and then other figures in this line include Batman, the Joker, the Arrow, Superman, the Flash, and Reverse Flash. Now I can't wait to get this armor built. Uh, at the time I'm re reviewing this there are only three figures available which is the Joker, Arrow, and the Flash. Other, the other three will be coming soon. But anyway, really excited to have this guy in hand, so what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get him opened up, and then we'll go on to the rest of his review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have the arrow pose and out of the packaging. Now before we get on to the figure, let's actually go on to his build a figure piece. He does come with the right arm of the Justice Buster armor. I'm looking forward to the Justice Buster armor. The only thing is we have no way of attaching the arms to the armor, so... Right now we just have three floating pieces, if you count the one with Joker, the one with Flash, and then this one. We have two arms, and the upper, essentially the armor and the head, which doesn't really give us much, but here's hoping that the Justice Buster is actually a really good builder figure, moving that off to the side. And let's actually go on to Green Arrow, or the Arrow as he's called it. Now, where do I begin on this figure, because there's... Honestly, nothing th this figure does is right. Uh, even the paint is sloppy. Like when I was talking about the Flash, the Flash actually had an okay paint job. There is nothing good on this figure. Okay, that's a lie. The one thing this figure does do well is that he can hold the arrow exceptionally well. And how that's done is that there's a little peg right here, a little peg hole, and you just peg the arrow in like that and he's actually holding it. Other than that this figure does nothing good. This is actually one of the worst figures I have seen in a really long time. That's unfortunate because I was actually looking forward to Mattel's rebranding of the DC Comics line and so far we've had a somewhat good Joker, a disappointing Flash, and now a really disappointing Green Arrow and uh, that It's kind of sad because it's not that I wanted to hate these figures. I really wanted to like them. And Green Arrow here, or Arrow here is just disappointing now. Let's actually move him off to the side so we can get a comparison. And here we have Mattel's Arrow next to DC Collectibles Arrow. And as you can see, there's a huge difference on these two. And... Unlike Flash, where they were kind, where you could kind of say they're the same guys, this looks like an imp like somebody trying to pose as Arrow, and this actually looks like the Arrow. And the paint apps also speak volumes on these guys. Uh, if you can, let's see if I can't show this off. You can see that they didn't even bother painting the stri the lining on his costume right. Uh, this one has that white washing. This one is just that whole green plastic. And then you can see even the straps on this one are painted. This one's... they kind of phoned it in on this one because it's just a darker shade. Actually, it's actually the same shade as the plastic, so that's kind of disappointing. Uh, you can't even make out the zipper detail. The, you can't even see he's wearing a belt. There's no lining on this figure versus this one. 
And I know I really shouldn't be comparing DC collectibles to Mattel because they are aimed at different demographics, but this is a really sloppy figure. And, you know, this is supposed to be the Season 2 arrow, but we get the Season 1 bow where we have the Season 2 arrow with the Season 2 bow. And his arrows don't even come out, so you can't even, like, show him, show him like, on his last arrow like you could with him. It's just really, really poorly made, poorly designed figure, and that's my stand on it. Uh, let's actually go on to some detail here. Uh, the face doesn't really look like Green Arrow. Like I said, it looks like someone trying to imitate Green Arrow. The hood is actually the wrong shape. They kind of form-fitted it like a hoodie, where it should actually be billowing out like that. And then they attach it to his head, which it's fine from some angles, but then let's say you have him at an angle where you can see the skin poking through. It's not a good design. I kind of like what DC Collectibles did where they connected it to the torso and had it a really soft rubber. Uh, like I said, his straps aren't, aren't painted. They're the same color. There's no detailing on him. You can't even tell what that is. It just looks like yellow on his costume. Uh, I guess you can say he has some paint here, but then like this isn't painted like it should be. And like I said, just really overall disappointed with this figure. Uh, he only holds the arrow in his right hand, but due to the lack of articulation, you can't get him in any good arrow firing poses. Uh, like his arm would have to be out like that and you know because he doesn't have a hinge he can't really you can't do anything with it uh, I guess you can try to like say that that's a good pose I guess um, he's just a really bad figure I'm, and that's sad because like I said I was really looking forward to these multiverse figures but let's get these out of his hands and he's actually stuck with this, his hands posed like this, so he has to be constantly holding the arrow at all times. He has a ball jointed head, which really doesn't work all too well. His head moves left and right. Very limited side-to-side -side movement. Uh, no head bobble, so that's unfortunate. Arms go out to about that far. They don't go any further than that. Uh, and they don't close inward any further so that's a little unfortunate and then we get to his arms where you can see that's a really thick piece of plastic so his arms actually below out at that angle and it goes the same for both sides you can see just a really disappointing figure he has an elbow hinge gets a little more than 90 swivel in the bicep swivel or swivel in the elbow swivel in the wrist no ab crunch, waist swivel. Let's go forward to about that much. Go back pretty far. Go pretty far out, but then that kind of looks a little strange. He swivels above the knee, single jointed at the knee. No boot swivel, and he gets an ankle hinge. So decent articulation, not the best we've seen. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get him posed, and move on to my final thoughts. So we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. And so here we have the DC Comics Multiverse Arrow posing out of the packaging. And like I said, I just cannot recommend this figure. It's like we took a look at Joker, who was really good. We had a look at Flash, who was kind of good. And then we get this piece of garbage, which I'm actually going to say that he's a piece of garbage. This figure is really, really bad. And uh, like I said, this, just, this figure could have been done so much better, but it wasn't. This is just insulting to collectors and if you're a collector I would say completely pass on this figure this figure is not worth the plastic it's made out of even from a kid's from a child standpoint avoid this figure there's better green arrow figures out there his bow doesn't even have a string which I forgot to point that out and when I was going over it and it, it it's painted well enough I guess but yeah, I can't recommend this figure to any collectors out there. If you can, I would say 
avoid both these figures at all costs. So uh, he's a terrible figure, and this one is just really expensive. I've seen him go for like seventy, eighty dollars. My best advice is just wait for the next one to come out, which is he's coming out later this year. If you really have to have an arrow in your collection, like I said, just wait for the new DC Collectibles arrow coming out. It's from season three. But yeah, like I said. It's just really hard to recommend this figure to anyone, especially diehard Arrow fans, because this figure, flat out, is garbage. And like I said, that's sad, because I was really looking forward to the DC Multiverse line. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this figure. Do you think it's garbage? Do you think I'm right in trashing it as much as I should? Uh, leave me a comment, like this video, subscribe to my channel. And I'm King Dragons 5000 saying I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone.